There's going to be some spooky vibes in the Alamo City this weekend. The Psychic and Spirit Fest is back, and it's bringing with it some things that can really bring a chill down your spine. And Stephen Garza Guzman, who's the co-owner of Curious Twins Paranormal, Normal, is here to give us a sneak peek and tell us all about the spooky festival. Welcome, sir. Yes, thank you for having me. All right, so what can people expect from the Psychic and Spirit Fest? Yes, this is a wonderful event. It's our third annual Psychic and Spirit Fest. We're going to have all types of psychics, mediums, spiritualists, and even guest speakers from all over the United States coming over to San Antonio and share their expertise on spiritualism and mediumship. Now, somebody might say, oh, there's no such thing as ghosts. Sure, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think that is a case for some people, but there are a lot of people who believe that, you know, there are certain people with gifts and people who can um, get in tune with the other side and get and tap into the other side and communicate. Mm -hmm. And so for those people who are into that, this is an event for them. Okay, and so who are some of the vendors and readers that will be there? Yeah, we'll have over 40 vendors, and this is everything from food vendors to um, people who sell uh, Ouija boards and crystals and then all sorts of metaphysical vendors. We're also going to have paranormal investigative teams going to come out. Um, so they'll be part of the vendors as well. And we'll have 15 individual readers. So people can have their pick of any type of readers from bone readers to tarot readers, mediumship readers, all types. And it seems like the highlight is going to be a couple of objects from the infamous Warren Occult Museum. Yes. So if you are familiar with the Warrens, this is Ed and Lorraine Warren, the famed paranormal investigator from the 1970s. They were the ones who collected a whole number of objects that were supposed to be haunted. They're supposed to have spirit attachments to them. We're bringing 10 of those items out to Psychic and Spirit Fest for people to come and experience for themselves. And Ed and Lorraine Warren, I mean, they're known for the Amityville Horror. The Conjuring movies. The yes, absolutely. Okay. Do they let those haunted things on planes? They took a road trip, actually. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Connecticut all the way over here. And so we have an image of the dinosaur from the Brookfield case. What is this? Yes, so this dinosaur is connected to the Brookfield murder case, which was the first murder case that was used for the, the that the um, defense used to um, try and get their person off by claiming that they were possessed by a demon. Um, so they did not win that case, unfortunately, but that was something that was really kind of a big deal, and that dinosaur is is still around, and we're going to have it here in San Antonio. And the shadow doll? What's that? The shadow doll is really unique because it's made from real human bones, hair, and nails. Um, and it's also made... <laughs> that gives you the heebie-jeebies to hear about it. It is said to be a cursed object, and many people believe that it visits people in their dreams. Great, I'm going to sleep tonight. Yes, you are going to sleep with the light on. Okay. All right, so if people want to go, how can they go about it? Yeah, definitely visit our social media, Curious Twins Paranormal, or our website, CuriousTwins.com. Get tickets early. If you go to the gate, you will still have tickets available, but they'll be $5 extra. And it's going to be at the most haunted place, would you say? Uh -huh. Yes, most yeah. haunted place in San Antonio, which is Victoria's Black Swan Inn. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay, folks, you can attend the third annual Psychic and Spirit Fest tomorrow at 4 p.m. at Victoria's Black Swan Inn. For tickets, we set up a link. Just go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. <laughs>